What's up, y'all? It's Emil, and it's Junior back here with Clever News. And after many accusations of toxic work environments on the set of The Ellen Show, staffers are reportedly loving the fact that people are continuing to come forward and reveal the truth about one of TV's most beloved hosts. If there's one good thing to come out of The Ellen Show's gradual downfall, the staffers behind the scenes are reportedly standing in unity of one another and fully supporting the fact that many of their fellow cohorts have had similar unpleasant experiences while working on the show. Over the past few months, while Ellen has continued to film the show from her Santa Barbara mansion, many members of the staff, as well as celebrity guests and YouTuber Nikki Tutorials, began to describe how Ellen was notoriously mean and rude to people on and off set. The accusations began around the time that Variety published an article about employees being left in the dark about their pay and employment status amid the pandemic. But things would continue to escalate to the point that a Twitter thread from former Ellen employee Kevin Porter went viral asking people who had horrible experiences with Ellen to come forward and to nobody's surprise, the thread was filled with negative accusations. Ellen's former bodyguard Tom Majersack also spoke out, noting that he was assigned to her during the 2014 Oscars and that she was the one person out of many celebrities he's been assigned to that quote, has never taken the time to say hi to me. Executive producers Ed Glavin, Mary Connolly, and Andy Lastner have responded to the allegations in a joint statement on the website saying, quote, we are truly heartbroken and sorry to learn that even one person in our production family has had a negative experience. It's not who we are and not who we strive to be and not the mission Ellen has set for us. They also attempted to take the blame away from Ellen, adding, for the record, the day-to-day -day responsibility of The Ellen Show is completely on us. We take all of this very seriously, and we realize, as many in the world are learning, that we need to do better, are committed to do better, and we will do better. As if things couldn't get any worse, BuzzFeed published a shocking article last week featuring 11 anonymous employees, one current and 10 former, who claim to have been mistreated and have even faced racism, fear, and intimidation while working behind the scenes of the show. A source revealed to Us Weekly, quote, they've been calling and texting each other about the story. They're loving that the truth, which has been an open secret for years in the industry, is finally receiving more interest. Although many of the anonymous employees agreed that the executive producers were in large part to blame for the a toxic work environment, they still felt that Ellen should have also intervened being the host. Another BuzzFeed employee agreed, adding, quote, if she wants to have her own show and have her name on the show title, she needs to be more involved to see what's going on. They also predicted a scenario in which the executive producers surrounding her just tell her things are going great, everybody's happy, and she just believes them. However, it should still be her responsibility to intervene. Back in May, sources also revealed to Us Weekly that Ellen was at the end of the rope, adding, she thought this was all just sour grapes from a few haters, but it's not a passing thing. The hits just keep coming. As for the future of The Ellen Show, it still remains one of the most popular talk shows on the air. And according to Forbes, the series generates over $35 million in profit for Warner Brothers each year and over $50 million for Ellen herself. According to advertising and analytics company SQAD, buying a 30-second national commercial during the show cost advertisers $51,570 during the fourth quarter of 2019, compared to a $34,000 slot on Dr. Phil and a $19,000 slot during Live with Kelly and Ryan. There is currently no talk of the show being canceled altogether, as Ellen has yet to speak out about any of the allegations. However, fans continue to troll her Instagram posts, urging her to do so. One user wrote, are you ever going to address the terrible way your staff is treated? While another person said, I expected more from you, address the issues. But to see what other staffers have to say about Ellen's toxic work environment, click right over here for another Clever News video. And then let us know your thoughts on all of this and what you think the future of The Ellen Show will be down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Anish Jr., and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.